In this video, we will talk about five things that last epoch done well and in some cases even excellent. So without any delay, let's jump right into it. Avoiding one skill builds. Have you ever played Diablo-like games and got bored with your character casting one ability all the time? Yeah, me too. It's an annoying feature of playing isometric looters. Many titles fall into a trap of designing their skill system in a way that promotes specializing in a single active ability. We often end up with builds which revolve around clicking one ability over and over again. It gets boring with time. The best example of such pitfall was Grimtown. I loved the game and enjoyed leveling multiple characters in it. But unfortunately the game tends to be this one button click simulator. Ever wondered why is that? I think it's because you have limited number of skill points while each ability has many levels you can invest in. Such a design creates a fixed pie environment where you have limited resources for your abilities. And because of that, investing in free active skills means weakening your main ability and you don't want to do that. You are much better off maxing out your one active skill as well as tons of passive perks which enhance your character. And as a result, the gameplay becomes rather dull since you end up casting one ability for many hours. Now in Last Epoch you also have main damage skill, but it's not the only ability you are going to cast on high levels. What is the difference, you may ask? See, in Last Epoch you've got possibility to specialize in 5 skills. There is no sacrifice for your main ability by adding points to other 4 skills. This is because each skill you specialize in has its own independent levels, skill points and skill tree. However, some skills and builds offer possibilities to synergize skills. There are two main synergy types which I encountered in last epoch so far. The first type of synergy is buffing one skill with attributes and perks of the other ability. Here we can take an example of Serpent Strike for Primalist which enhances Swarmblade. Or perhaps mages who use teleport can cast automatically Elemental Nova. And the second synergy the game offers is by triggering skill automatically. Here let's take an example of Hammerdin, which is a hammer throwing uh, paladin who has a chance to automatically cast another ability called Smite. For me it leads to much more interesting gameplay where I can have more fun casting few abilities that I enjoy playing with. Such gameplay is more engaging as it relies on players active button pressing rather than passive processing of skills or getting passive buffs on the character. Standard classes but with unique twists. The base classes in the game are your typical bread and butter for fantasy ARPG titles. We have a necromancer called Acolyte here, warrior called Sentinel, druid who is primalist, we also got mage and of course rogue. But despite classes being very standard archetypes, I like the twists that the game adds with subclasses. For instance, we have Sentinel who can be your typical paladin, but can also become something more unique, a Void Knight. Void Knight has skills that thematically manipulate time and create echoes, which are like mirror images of your character casting the skill. We also have Mage who can be a rather standard sorcerer, but you can also choose to go Spellblade path with more of a melee range blade weaving caster. In Last Epoch, Primalist can become a shaman with totems, a caster or a shapeshifting druid. Druid can shapeshift to typical bear form, but he also has access to two very unique forms. Spriggan, which allows you to become Groot from Guardians of Galaxy, and Swarmblade. Swarmblade is freaking cool. You become a giant insect flying around spawning smaller insects. So far, this is my favorite druid form. I believe everyone will find at least one class that clicks with them in Last Epoch. In fact, after checking endgame gameplays for each class, I had a problem choosing the one I want to start with. And that's a good type of a problem to have in ARPG games. 
crafting is my favorite in the genre. Crafting in Last Epoch is an area in which the game strikes a great balance between complexity and simplicity. See, the crafting seems complicated at start, but becomes quite intuitive when you get the hang of it. Each item, besides Unix and set items, comes with forging potential. This potential indicates how much you can upgrade and modify the item. The higher the crafting potential, the better. Every time you improve or add new affix, you will decrease this potential. By how much? Well, the game rolls a dice to indicate the cost within certain range, but you also have a possibility to not use any potential with a glyph of hope. It's a really fun system that keeps you engaged. With enough luck, you can turn an almost good item into a great one. And from the topic of crafting, let's gravitate towards another vital area of ARPGs. The gear progression. I really enjoy where Last Epoch is heading with gear progression. From items perspective, we have typical gear that our character can equip, with usual grades for this genre. What I like about items is the balance and the creativity of the perks that they offer. Legendary items are quite powerful and creative. Unlike Diablo 3, set items and legendaries do not revolve around insane number boost. See, in Diablo 3, you get set bonus of like 1000 or 2000 damage increase to a skill, which is fucking bonkers. It is a lazy set design for the most part without much imagination put into it. Such insane bonus deems any build not utilizing this set while using the skill that the set boosts as obsolete. Now in Last Epoch you also get bonuses increasing the numbers. The difference is however that your build might be sometimes better off with rare and exalted items rather than full of sets and uniques. On top of that, the bonuses are not for 5-6 set items, but rather 2 or 3. This gives players more freedom to actually experiment and match various items rather than relying solely on one bonus from one damn set. Some uniques have even a downside to them. You can see some examples on the screen, like not being able to crit while wearing an item or continuously bleeding. Furthermore, the perks your items give are more synergistic and complementary to your skills which you specialize in rather than making the entire build work. I find this design philosophy very neat and well thought out considering that skills are the selling point of character development in Last Epoch. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned yet idols, which are like talismans from Diablo 2. In Last Epoch, however, idols have limited and separate slots available to them. As you complete quests in the game, you unlock more slots. Idols come in different shapes, which forces you to make some difficult choices as to which bonus to equip and which one to leave out. To sum up, the loot system in Last Epoch is very well thought out and meshes extremely well with how the character is being built via skills and passive attributes. Gameplay fluidity Last Epoch gameplay is not as fluid as say Diablo 3. D3, despite its downsides in many areas, is widely considered ARPG's leader in terms of gameplay. Personally, I still get back to Diablo 3 every few seasons to play the game for a while mainly for the feeling of firing up skills in the game. It just flows and feels really fucking good in Diablo 3. Last Epoch became my second favorite game in the genre from gameplay perspective. The enjoyment in ARPG's gameplay comes from few factors. First is the skill animations and responsiveness. Second, the feedback of casting abilities. Developers achieve it via usage of sound effects, screen shakes and other effects. And last, complexity and variety in the gameplay. Is it one button press or players actually use more tools actively? I found Last Epoch to deliver in all three areas. If I had to nitpick on something, I would say that some animations leave a bit to be desired. But the good news is that developers continuously upgrade animations of abilities with new patch releases. I mean, just look at this patch notes section of skill visuals updates. These were the 5 best and most important aspects of the game for me. I've had so far a fun 100 hours run with the game and I plan to play it much much more. 
I think that Last Epoch is a fantastic isometric ARPG title, which offers tons of fun even now, before its 1.0 release. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you like my content then kindly leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos in the future. I hope you all enjoyed and as always, see you next time.